Hello, my crafty friends. Today I am sharing another tower pinwheel card that is a five by seven size. After I made my Thanksgiving one, I was just so tickled with how it turned out. I love the size of them, and these tower pinwheel cards are just plain fun to make. So I decided to make one for Halloween. My card will fit in a five by seven envelope for mailing and folds completely flat. My card actually started with this die set from MFT Stamps. It has the ghost, it has the hay goal, and then I believe these you die cut them out of pink and you can give your little ghosty some cheeks. I believe it was released last year, maybe the year before, I'm not sure. At any rate, I loved it, but I did have to wait a while to get it. When I did finally get it, it was on sale. Living in Canada, we're paying at least 30% more because of our dollar exchange, so the budget doesn't stretch quite as far when you're buying in Canada. But this did go on sale. I was able to get it from a Canadian distributor, so that gave me my little ghost and I wanted to make a card right away with it. So here's the Hegel. I cut it from the scalloped circle and then backed it with white cardstock and then spritzed it with my shimmer spray so it is nice and sparkly. The patterned paper is from Doodlebug and I was able to use up just bits and pieces that were in the package. I love Doodlebug, so I save lots of the little scraps to use as embellishments on my cards. There's one of the little ghosts. Here is another one. And finally, the spot where we will sign our name. The scallop circles are from 2D Designs. 2D Designs has got a really good price point and I picked those up at Paper Pastimes in Calgary, Alberta. And I also got the cross stitch nesting circles at the same time. I like some kind of a detail around the outside edge. You'll see my ghosts are actually popped up. And I just used a simple pop-up platform. I was going to do a tutorial but I ran out of time so instead I will link in the video description my simple box pop-up tutorial and the same principle you just make your box attach it here and then pop up your element my ghosts were cut out of white cardstock i used blending brushes to lightly add color to the bottom copic markers for the cheeks and then backed the openings can i peel it yeah you can see i just used a scrap of black cardstock there to back the opening of the ghost's eyes and mouth your Spooktacular, that's from Tailored Expressions Mini Strips Halloween. I love the mini strips and the simple strips stamps from Tailored Expressions. I think it was a brilliant concept. It's a single stamp with registration marks. You stamp it on your cardstock, you can heat emboss, and then there is a coordinating die. I forgot to bring it over, but there's a coordinating die that you line up the registration marks, run it through your machine, and one pass through your machine gives you all of these sentiments cut into nice little rectangles. So the Your Spooktacular and Happy Haunting came from Simple Strips. Here's my second ghost on another little pop-up platform. I inked it the same, added the same black cardstock in behind, and there's a little bit of sparkle on my ghosts. I used Wink of Stella to sparkle at the bottom, and then they each have a little kind of highlight mark. It's subtle, it probably isn't showing up on camera, but it does show up in real life. It just catches the light. And then a couple more of the scallop circles as a place to sign our name. These are like a never-ending card. I'm not done with them yet. I, I know I'm going to make another one, and I guess Christmas is coming up, so maybe I will make a Christmas one. I used just a lightweight purple cardstock for my tower and all of the, the pinwheel paddles, and that was a package of a couple of different shades of purple cardstock that I picked up at Michael's, and as I said, I think it's about 65 pounds in weight, and then the doodlebug paper on top of that. So it's still nice and sturdy, but it's light. We'll mail for a single stamp and stands really nicely for display. When I dug out my 5x7 envelopes, I was happy to find a purple one in there, and I added some stamps from Hello Bluebird. They're frightful little bits. So really fun little little ghosties. I think I'm going to have to stamp and cut out a bunch of those to use on my projects because they have such cute little expressions. So I decorated my envelope and I'm going to put in the description box below the link to the video that I used. Linda has a great video and 
Rather than just recite her measurements, I like to send viewers to her YouTube channel. She deserves the credit for that. So I will put her video tutorial link in the description box below and also my blog where you can find any of the supplies that are available are linked there for you. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more. And that's it for me today.